Welcome to Electron Line. In chemistry, we have what we call a pH scale that indicates how acidic or basic a solution is. The pH can be calculated by taking the negative log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion concentration in the solution. If, for example, the hydrogen concentration in the solution is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 5, which means for every one water molecule in the solution, there would be this many hydrogen ions. So that's roughly about, ooh, let's say 4. Point, let me calculate that. That's kind of interesting. So we have 4.2 uh, e to the 5 minus, and take the inverse of that. Uh, that would be for every 23,800 water molecules, there would be one hydrogen ion. So that would be the concentration. Now you say, well, that doesn't sound like very much, but actually it makes the solution rather acidic. If the pH is below 7, then you have an acidic solution. And the smaller the pH number, the more acidic the solution is. So let's go ahead and calculate it. So we can say the pH is equal to the minus log of this concentration, which would be, in this case, 4.2 times 10 to the minus 5. So let's see what that gives us. So we have 4.2 e to the 5 minus. We take the log, not the natural log of that, and then we we'll multiply it times the negative 1. So in this case, the pH of this particular solution is equal to 4. Point, uh, we'll round it off to uh, one decimal place. So the pH is 4.4, which is definitely less than 7, so you could say that this would indeed be an acidic solution. Not a very strong acidic solution, because the pH is not that far from 7. Now when the pH drops to a 3 or 2 or even 1.5 or something like that, you're dealing with a very strong acid. In this case, it's probably a medium, a medium acid, not a very strong acid. All right, but that's how we calculate the pH using the pH scale, and again, it comes down to using logarithmic functions. And that's how it's done.